So. And you're a good chef. I, I, I like to think that right? I, I mean, at least I make food that I enjoy, right. you know, but my, my diet is very, um, it's very abnormal even amongst the vegan community, I would imagine, because right. it is so focused on health, you know, I, 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 I don't cook with vegetable oils or anything like mm. that anymore, I don't use salt. Um, I don't like it, salt either, yeah. Yeah, and it takes a minute for your palate to adjust to that sort of thing. I so mean, how do you cook when you don't cook with oil? Um, you can water saute, or, you know, I steam things a lot, mm. um... I mean, my diet is is surprisingly simple. Now, I do I can make more gourmet types of foods, and I'll do that when I'm entertaining guests or right. something like that. If there's a certain if there's a situation like a potluck or something, I'll mm -hmm. you know I'll go all out and I'll try to make something really nice. Um, or if I'm yeah doing something like that. So, but uh, if I'm just cooking for myself, it's real simple. Right. You know, I mean, we're talking like I might steam some yams with some broccoli. I might have some you know, lentils, like a lentil soup with uh -huh. it, or, uh, you know, and then a salad. I mean, we're not talking anything fancy like or fancy crazy. Or yeah. crazy. It's in, in oatmeal for breakfast with some blueberries and bananas and, and maybe some ground up flax seeds. So Good. what would you say, like, people always throw at me, the first thing they say is like, but you need your protein and you get the protein from your meat. And I'm like, actually, yeah. kale has protein. Absolutely. Broccoli pound for pound. Has, right? Broccoli has a lot of protein. Not a lot, but it has protein and beans do so. absolutely and we need so little protein actually and, and and you're you'll be hard pressed to find someone walking this planet with a protein deficiency right. unless they've got maybe an eating disorder if yeah. they're anorexic and they're not getting enough calories or if they're living in you know an unfortunate situation you know where there aren't enough calories. Like maybe, you know, there, yeah. you know, there's certain countries and everything like that where, you know, f food is hard to come by. Yeah. And so maybe the, they are dealing with protein deficiency, but it's usually because of a lack of calories. I mean, you can eat a pretty um, nutrient deficient diet and still get enough protein and yeah. things like that. I mean, you could hang out eating potato chips all day, for instance, and like candy and mm -hmm. probably get mm -hmm. enough protein. I wouldn't suggest doing that, of yeah, course, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, getting enough protein is not usually a problem. If you're getting enough calories in your diet, you're going to get enough protein. Bold, really. And you don't have to worry about it. There's a dog playing with a toy right here. <laughs> he, That's he that sound. He never plays with a ball, but it's like, also <laughs> somebody is like, hey guys, I'm over here. <laughs> How about me? When is my interview happening? He's looking like, what? <laughs> <laughs> your album is in the works. <laughs> I want to do a metal album. Have, nice. Have him bark and Bark play. occasionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Put some distortion on it. Go crazy. <laughs> um, do you take any supplements to, to kind of, like for B12 or, or like any kind of... Exactly, yeah, I do, I do take that. B12. Yeah. B12 is very important, but not just for vegans. It's important. In general, right? Yeah, I mean, B12 comes from our soil originally. So it's, uh, you know, there's um, microorganisms in the soil, and we've depleted a lot of our soil in, because of mar modern sanitization of our... He eats dirt all the time. He might be getting he might be getting some B12. I mean the thing is you could get you know you could get it from stream water things like that but I mean obviously we don't want to get cholera yeah, yeah. and some of these other you know well, no pathogens that yeah. you could possibly get from that at this point. So on the safe side since there isn't any uh, there's at least no study saying that it's harmful to take large doses mm -hmm. of B12. Uh, that that's the one supplement that that a lot of people that are experts in nutrition will suggest to take. But I mean even people eat meat and fish, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, meat's going to have B12 and things like that, but I mean, a lot of those farm animals are getting injected with B12, or they're eating, it's they're crazy. eating a, a, a meal that, you know, has B12 in it, you know, because their, their foods are being fortified, and yeah. so then we're, we're getting it through them, yeah. uh, so, so yeah, I mean, there's certain, so when people use that argument of, oh, well, it must not be an adequate diet, because you're not getting a certain nutrient that you need, yeah. it's kind of like, you know, you could say the same about vitamin D. Yeah. You know, it's like if you live in the north, you know, it's going to be hard to get vitamin D. You know, you need to have sunlight in order to get that. I mean, there's certain things like you could eat mushrooms, and I think that there's certain types of maybe algae or like fish or things like that that yeah. have some vitamin D in it naturally. Uh, but, you know, if you're living in northern places where it's gray and dismal and dark all the time, you're going to have a hard time getting enough yeah. vitamin D. And so you might have to take a supplement for that too. Mm -hmm. Um but other than that, I don't believe in taking any supplements. I mean, there's some okay. debate on, on, you know, certain omega-3 stuff. There's still a lot of research that's yeah. coming out with that. 
um, whether or not vegans should take a DHA supplement or an EPA supplement. But there's a lot of there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of controversial go, stuff. There's, there's yeah. controversy going like yeah. it's all about the omega three versus yeah. omega six ratios more mm. so than it is getting enough of things uh, like omega threes. Uh, so if you're eating avocados are good. Avocados are well, great. Sure, yeah. But yeah, I mean, just eat, you know, eat some walnuts, eat some uh, ground flax seeds. Uh, you know, a lot of these things have good omega threes in it, and uh, and then your body will con- convert those short chain fatty acids into DHA and EPA. There you go. That doesn't do mean it. you have to be vegan, but I think you know, <laughs> eventually, it's good to think about these things. And I do it for animal reasons mostly. Um, but you know, it's also our health. Without our health, we have nothing. So absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going back to, so where, yeah, where can I get your book? <laughs> well, it's on Amazon. The Touring Vegan? The Touring Vegan. It's on Amazon. Uh, let's see. How long did I, it take you to write? Did you write it on the road? I did write. I was writing it um, when I was out with IMX last. We, we, we went out for pretty much like a year and a half. And, uh, you know, we had a month off here and there uh, throughout the time. That's and and cool. that's, when I was, that's when I was doing a lot of writing. I mean, at the time, I, I wasn't having to work. A day job during those periods and so I was fortunate enough to have like I could wake up in the morning I'd write for a little bit then drum I mean I was living the perfect life for a moment (laughs) it was all music and and being free and like and I was I was doing all right with the money at the time and so yeah it was it was cool you know and so I wrote the book you know it was a good time to do it I wasn't having to you know grind it out like like I normally would doing this music thing so so when you're not on the road, I mean, I want to go, go back to IMX, so because yeah, yeah, that's, that's sure. awesome too, because you've toured pretty much the world. Uh, I, a I, good I, chunk of it. There's certain areas I haven't hit, but there's certain areas that we're supposed to hit this year that are, I don't know if I should disclose Don't them disclose yet. it yeah. if you can. Yeah, but we yeah. might be hitting some new places this year. Cool, very 2018 cool. could be that year, so nice. let's, uh, let's keep those fingers crossed. But you've been with them for quite a few years now, right? Like, uh, not that long, but enough. I mean, two, I think I... I two think years, I, three years or something. Yeah, 2000, I think I joined in late in, in 2014, although we weren't touring okay. until 2015, like the summer or something like that. So, yeah, I, I joined, you know, That's and so I, cool. you know, just kind of met, the, and it was another thing, it was like a friend, you know, a, a tour manager of a tour that Dismantle was on, who knew me and ha- hired me for a couple other gigs with different other bands, you know, introduced me to Chris when I was waiting so. tables at a restaurant, at, at a real food deli, this vegan restaurant, and west hollywood so yeah so i met him there you know and then a year later they needed a drummer and and i guess he was like who was that guy i was t- that guy that i was talking to right. and then so like you know m- our numbers got exchanged and and then or emails or whatever you know so and, then we, and then that you know i, I tried out and, and the rest is history i suppose you must be a good <laughs> guy if they, you know I mean? obviously being a good person, I, I'm sure, helps because, you know, nobody wants to go on a road with an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, don't be an asshole. I mean, you, you know what? You can, you know, be you. That's important. I think, yeah. that, like, you know, if you're if you're quiet, that's fine. If you're an, an extrovert, that's fine, too. Um, you know, just be a good person. I think I think that's that's probably just the key, yeah. you know? I mean, know what kind of situation... You know, every situation is going to be different. You're going to have groups of people that are, maybe don't want to talk a whole lot or socialize. You know, I've yeah. certainly done a lot of bands where, where it's... It's a little bit more on the business side, um, and so, and, until we get on stage, then we're usually of always course, having a yeah. lot of fun, and that's really exciting. Uh, but then the off time is is pretty much everyone you know scatters like cockroaches when you turn on the light and they do their <laughs> own thing, you know. Uh, See you tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean, See you on stage. Yeah, I I certainly done that. And then there's other ones where it's like you, you know you're hanging out and you're you know you know you have a have a beer with them after the show or something like that. Which is so, nice, you know, when you yeah. like camaraderie kind of. Yeah, I like that too. I mean, yeah. it's it's nice. I mean, like you know, when you're on tour too. I mean, it's good to have a little bit of solo time. I mean, you're you're gonna be on a, you know, on a bus, a plane, or a van with these people like every single day. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, you, you do want a little bit of alone time. And I think that's important to try to like work some of that into the equation. But I but I certainly like a nice balance where I'd like to hang out with the yeah. band a little bit. You know, it's you having a relationship. You know, yeah, you don't even wanna, if it's a temporary thing, you want to be like wanna... always with that person in the same room, you know, sure. like twenty four seven. Yeah, give each other some bit, space. Yeah. You know, definitely. So okay, thanks, Paul, for the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. So, like, life on the road, like, how how is it for you? Like, do I mean, you hop from plane to plane, or you were driving in a bus in Europe, like, because you were doing a lot of European yeah, yeah. stuff, right? Like, all the above. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, if you know, if we have to go to. 
I mean, if we're in sort of uh, the central part of Europe, if we're in, you know, Germany or, or you know, Eastern Europe or, or any of the Western parts, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be in a bus, you know, but if we, you know, if we have to go to some of these locations in, in uh, you know, like Russia or something like that, um, uh, oh. we're flying generally at that point, so... <laughs> Dog wants to party. <laughs> He's so anyway, with this. It's a gross. Yeah, no, it's all good. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll fly a little bit, you know. And uh, last time we were touring in Europe, I mean, between all the the Russian shows and stuff like that, we'd have to fly from city to city because yeah. they're so far apart. Yeah. Um, How was the crowd? Oh my god, I love playing in Russia and in Eastern Europe in general. Ukraine's fantastic. Poland. Um, I met stuff really. Um. Well, I mean, IMX fans are, are, are pretty energetic to begin with. So, I mean, like, I nice. think, you know, we're very we're very fortunate. I mean, but, but certainly in, like, there's certain places, I think Russia, you know, Mexico as well, too. Like, but I've been in Mexico a few times with other bands as well. And I think that, you know, people are pretty amped, uh-huh. generally speaking. Like, they show their appreciation for music. Um, I mean, you get that in the U.S. too, yeah. depending on the band. But you know, sometimes you have those nights where, you know, everyone's just kind of staring at you a little bit. And, you know, there's, oh, there, yeah. there's even a couple places in Europe. I mean, like IMX does really well in Europe, especially. Uh, uh, so that's always fun. But I could think of a couple cities in Europe where, where you've got sort of, you know, you look into the crowd and everyone's just kind of. <laughs> and you're like, well, like, do they hate us? Hey. You know? well, I guess no one's leaving for the exit. You, mean, cause right, you, see, right. the, you see the exit signs, and you're like, they're just, you know, they're just a chill crowd. Whatever. Oh, stop! <laughs> please, thank you. <laughs> so, 